Hello, welcome back to part 62 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to finish the intro class and we need to finish the update method. So if is alive and between the current and previous keyboard states check for keyboard spacebar so if utils dot check keyboard and we need to pass in the current keyboard state and the previous keyboard state and the keys is the space and not is spacebar pressed switch the game state to game so game one dot game state is equals to the game state dot game right play the intro sound so pacman intro sounds dot play and the volume is zero dot one and the pits and the pen are zero. Right? Set the space bar press flag to true. So is the space bar pressed is equals to true. Enable the ready object. So ready dot is alive is equals to true. Right? Now we need to check if the space bar is pressed. So if the space bar is pressed, so if is space bar pressed. Update the ready object, so ready dot update. If the ready timer is finished, so if ready dot timer dot is finished. Start playing the siren sound. So items dot pacman dot siren sound instance dot play. Right? Enable pacman to walk. So items dot pacman dot is ready is equals to true. Reset the ready timer. Ready dot timer dot reset. And 
and disable the intro object. So it's alive is equals to false. All right. Update the intro object. And now we need to build the draw method. And that's a public void. Draw. And we need the sprite batch. And the first thing we're going to do here is if is alive. draw the intro on the screen so long there is no key press on the spacebar so if not is spacebar pressed then we can draw so spikebats dot draw and we draw the intro texture at position factor 2 dot zero and the color is white Right. Draw the ready object on the screen. So ready dot draw, and we need to pass the sprite path, just like this. Draw the intro object on the screen. And the actual sprite pads. And that's the intro class. So I'm going to finish the tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to implement the intro class in the game. So I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.